biggest lies we were taught in school. 1. Humans evolved from apes. We have widely accepted Darwin's theory of the survival of the fittest and that humans evolved from apes. If humans evolved directly from ancient apes, there would no longer be any apes left. That's because humans would have won the survival lottery. The existence of apes directs to the probability that at some point, apes and humans shared a common ancestor. But the ancestors evolved in separate directions from one another, which explains the existence of these primates even today. 2. Isaac Newton and the Apple We have all heard of the story that Isaac Newton was sitting under a tree when an apple fell on his head. This led him to the discovery of gravity and he came up with his groundbreaking laws. But the truth is, Newton was never really hit by an apple on the head at all, there's no evidence that suggests this. It was probably added years later, only to make his story a bit interesting for children to learn. Nevertheless, the story is now quite popular and always associated with Newton all over the world. 3. The Great Wall of China is visible from space. We have all been taught this at least once, right? However, this is anything but true. It is actually nearly impossible to see the entire Great Wall from space without the help of a telescope. Even Chinese astronaut Yang Liwei confirmed that he couldn't see the wall in low Earth orbit. However, there are a few roads and bridges that can be seen with bare eyes. 4. Napoleon Bonaparte was short. Napoleon was known to be a master tactician and the successful emperor of France. Along with this, the man is widely associated with having short stature. There's even a psychological condition termed after him, the Napoleon Complex, for people who have an inferiority complex. However, Napoleon wasn't really short at all. He is believed to have been 5 featuring 2 inches tall, which is measured in French inches. In modern units, this would be 5 featuring 7 inches tall, which was actually a pretty normal and average height during that time. 5. We all have 5 senses. We are endowed with 5 senses, taste, smell, touch, sight, and hearing. This is what we were taught in school. But the truth is, we have several more senses, and no, we're not talking about the intuitive sixth sense. Other senses include the sense of spatial perception, vibration, time, balance, direction, and temperature. These are still just to name a few and the actual number of senses that humans possess is quite debatable. 6. Christopher Columbus discovered America. We were all taught that it was the Italian voyager Christopher Columbus who first discovered America in 1492. However, that's not true. America was first discovered in the 11th century by the Viking Leif Erikson, almost 400 years earlier. But Columbus' voyage became noteworthy as it made a lasting European contact with the Americans. Further, his discovery led to the exploration and colonization of the land. 7. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Early in our schools, we are taught that Thomas Edison invented the incandescent light bulb and gave us the most important invention for a long time to come. That's only half true. In 1800, the rudimentary model of the light bulb was already under progress because of Alessandro Volta. Edison was born nearly 50 years later in 1847. Volta's design was further improved by the likes of Joseph Swan and Warren de la Rue. In 1879, Edison added the final touch to the group effort of the scientists throughout history. 8. George Washington and the Cherry Tree For generations, students in school have been learning the story of George Washington chopping down a cherry tree. As the story goes, Washington chopped his father's cherry tree when he was six years old. His father was naturally furious, but the young boy honestly confessed and said that he cannot tell a lie, even if it meant his father would punish him. So, he ended up earning praises for his honesty. However, this story is fake and was added in George Washington's biography in the 1800s to highlight his virtues and honesty. 9. The 13 Colonies The American flag has 13 stripes to represent the original 13 colonies of the USA. But in reality, there were only 12 colonies. That's because Delaware was never a separate colony but juggled between Maryland and Pennsylvania. 
It ended up under the ownership of William Penn and remained with Pennsylvania up until the Revolutionary War. It was just known as the Three Lower Counties and got its name much later.